Welcome to the 15th video on beginning CSS. Now we're going to keep using the code that we used from the last video. Let's open up our index HTML document and we're going to do a little bit of house cleaning. I want you to get rid of the inline CSS that we did in the last video and we'll be using that in later videos but we're not going to use it uh, for the next several so we'll get rid of that and let's go ahead and save this and then let's go ahead and open up our style sheet and so let's talk about font sizes. Now the first type is pixels and we've been doing that right we specified a pixel count right here uh, in our paragraph class and so we've been using those all along now another way is to use percentage and we'll get to that in a minute another way is to use em and that involves scaling and we'll get to that in a minute and then yet a fourth way is to use keywords and we'll talk about those in a minute as well so first let's go ahead and do a copy and paste here and we're going to move the font size property into the body rule set and let's go ahead and delete that out of our paragraph classes now and so what that means is we're going to be using an inheritance here so this font size will be applied to all of the child elements that are under the body parent element so all of our h1 elements will get it our paragraph elements will get it as well everything basically in the web page will have this applied to it now so that's probably the best way to use fonts is to use inheritance and uh, let's also um, split these two up here as well because we're going to actually apply a different font size to our h1 and h2 because they usually are different sizes so let's go ahead and copy and paste this as well and we'll keep the same text decoration for underline we'll just make this one h2 and we'll make this one h1 good so as I said we want our h1 to be the largest font size and our h2 to be the second largest font size and then the paragraphs will be a little bit smaller than those font sizes that's pretty much the way it's done in all web pages so let's go ahead and copy this font size property again and we're going to put it in our h1 selector first and here is where we're going to use percentage and we're going to make this 150 percent and then let's go ahead and use the other example em and i'll explain these in a minute so we're going to make this 1.2 em now let me explain how this works so the font size for h1 will be increased 150 percent off of this 25 pixels because it is inheriting the font size from the body selector and then it'll increase it by 150 percent so this is a relative unit of measure in other words it's relative to this font size and so let's go ahead and open up calculator and we'll actually calculate what the exact pixel count will be for our h1 header so if we pull up calculator let's go ahead and do that now and we'll put in 25 we'll times it times 150 and we'll do the percentage and you get a pixel count of 37.5 and so let's go ahead and leave the calculator up there now em does the same thing that percentage does it's a relative unit of measure so this will be 1.2 times 25 so that's pretty easy to figure out so 25 times 1.2 gets us 30 so that will be the size of our h2 header it'll be 30 pixels and so again this is doing pretty much the same thing that percentage is doing and you can use either one or you can use both but this is scaling it up 1.2 times now the key point I want to make here and this is very key to understanding web page design the nice thing about this is let's say you come back at a later point and you want to change the font size in your website well think about this all you have to do now is alter this value right here you don't have to go in here now and specify an exact pixel count it will do it automatically for us it will scale it and that's the nice thing about using inheritance and using the font size property inside the body rule set because that way it'll automatically apply it for the rest of our entire website we don't again we don't have to go in here and change this to an absolute pixel count and so that's really the best way to adjust your font sizes okay the final thing we're going to talk about is keywords now you can put in keywords and those equate to a pixel count it's pretty much the same thing as using the pixel I like to use actually the pixel count up here uh, but you could put in here medium or large if that's easier for you to read I actually though like to use the exact pixel count but again you can use what you want um, you could put these in here as well these keywords okay so let's go ahead and save everything let's close out the calculator 
Let's save our style sheet and now let's open up our web page and there you can see we've got everything applied to our web page. Now I want to point out one thing else here. Um, let's close this out. Uh, we didn't specify a percentage here in our paragraph classes so this will just inherit the font size of 25 pixels because we didn't put anything else in here so it'll just take that font size. Okay that is going to do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video.